Hi, I'm Colin. And I'm Peter. And, and this, this is Living Miracles What's New for September 2017. So, in recent months and even recent years, you've probably been receiving our Living Miracles um, newsletter, and uh, that's now been replaced by these What's New episodes. We'll be filling you in, in on all the different uh, events and activities that uh, we've been involved with. And um, Peter, a few weeks back there, you were part of the retreat down in Tepoztlan? Tepoztlan, yeah, yeah, we had a great retreat down in Tepoztlan, which is near uh, Mexico City. And a few of us from the community here went to attend. We had uh, Andy and Mel and Michael, David, of course, with Svava, and Susanna and Jeffrey. And we had a beautiful turnout. There was about uh, 40 people there, even more. It was um, one of the largest retreats we've had in, in Mexico for a while. And it also just felt like it was the start of this, um, I don't know, beautiful heart opening in Mexico. It just kind of felt like it's a sign of things to come, like um, these beautiful connections we have with people in Mexico and probably a lot more retreats and a lot more new areas. So I don't know, it feels like it's kicking off something exciting here. Yeah, and some, just some great images there too of, you know, you just sort of feel the, the love and the joy there that everyone was um, experiencing. Most of our community members now have, have arrived and joined us down here and are staying at various properties. And um, you can see on the footage there, um, people arriving, um, friends arriving at, uh, at the airport and being greeted. And it's something, you know, as Peter was saying, this sort of heart opening. And another exciting aspect too of it is that um, many of us, even though we feel like we know one another quite well, we actually haven't even met. We've been <laughs> sort of joining on calls and things in different continents. So that's also going to be beautiful to have everyone uh, actually in the same um, same sort of location, either Chapala or um, Ahihik. So. We've been coming together for lots of beautiful events already. We've had uh, two movie nights here in the past couple of weeks and um, where we've invited other uh, people who are studying the course. David has been showing movies and uh, we've been having beautiful discussions afterwards and using movies to go deeper with. So that's something we're very excited about. And we also had these beautiful potluck dinners, as you'll see in the footage. A number of us, Jen and, and others, have been really inspired with the, the potlucks, just putting together these lovely meals and obviously having David here and all the friends. It's, it's been really a blessing, there's been a lot of joy. Another event that's um, coming to mind is uh, a choir, a newly formed choir within the community. Emily, who's uh, leading the choir, um, she, she's speaking here about her passion and her inspiration. It was suggested to me a few months ago to start a choir. My first response was, I've never done that before, I haven't got a clue how, but I don't know, just something I feel has been growing in me that really wants to just bring everybody together in music and there's something about when we all sing harmonies together, it feels so intimate, so yeah, and it's a way for people who love to sing but maybe have never had an opportunity or feel shy to just really be able to let their voice out because they're, they're in a group of mighty companions. And how are they coming along? They're amazing! <laughs> Tonight was like our proper first practice and we learned a whole harmony line for You Raise Me Up. The men were amazing. I was just, I was like, I'm going to try this and see what happens. And oh, I just had goosebumps. It was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so as I said, we've had many people who have been interested in what's happening in the area and uh, what's going on with the community, but also with other course students who live close by. Uh, Emily here has been uh, receiving emails just uh, if for anybody who needs information about what's going on or how to get involved. So contact Emily and we'll display her email just below. We've had um, guests come to stay with us at the Awareness Centre and many of whom who are thinking of moving to the area too. During this consolidation period, while there's um, there's not necessarily a lot of um, retreats for you to come and attend, uh, we do have, and it's only next February, the 2018 conference. And Pete, you got a bit more information about that? Yeah, we've got David is going to be a guest speaker at the 2018 uh, conference in San Francisco, hosted by Tony Ponicello. So we're going to have a link to that on our on our page on our site. We'll display the link below that you can you can go to to check out this page. 
But if you are feeling to attend the 2018 conference, there's going to be lots of great speakers there. And as I said, David's going to be speaking. But if you would like to see David speak, um, it's great to go along to the, um, the website for Community, Community Miracles Center. And when you fill out the application form, you can put in the optional message that you would really like to hear David Hofmeister speak. And also below that, there's a, a drop-down menu where you can select a teacher you'd really like to hear speak. So you're saying, Pete, the more that actually fill that in the box, the, the more likely that David is going to be, is it like the keynote speaker? Or? Yeah, that's right. And also, if you are the, the sooner you do register, the cheaper the price is, because as it, as it moves along, the price becomes more expensive for this event. So if you, if you are thinking it's something you want to check out, I suggest getting into it now. And in some more big news that um, Peter's been very much a part of, we have um, a very special friend named Spiri. <laughs> Can you explain a bit more about Spiri and Spiri's role there, Pete? The yeah, app? sure. Spiri is currently our chatbot that we have running in uh, Facebook Messenger. Go into Facebook and type in, do a search for Spiri and you'll find our Spiri chatbot. She's been around for the past month or so now. Um, people have been using her, but Basically, she's a, a chat bot. She's artificial intelligence. If you have an upset in your mind or a grievance, you can write down the situation you seem to be perceiving and Spiri will take you through a process of going within your mind, bringing up the emotions and looking at the beliefs that are down there in the mind and getting to a place where you can say, you know what, I'd rather be at peace than, than hold on to what I'm holding on to underneath all of this. And it's not just a Course in Miracles students either. We've had uh, college students have been really getting into to it and being at college in a time of high stress and a lot going on and so it just goes to show that anybody can use this kind of tool it's it doesn't have to even be labeled in the spiritual categories we're really excited about that also we have a, a spiri app that's that uh, our coders are working on currently and is planned to be released uh, maybe in the next couple of months. It's gonna be like the Spiri chatbot, but it's also gonna have some more features in there as well. Spiri has been just blasting off here and I think everybody's been really excited about it. Also, if you're looking for a great program to go deeper with, we have a free Unwind Your Mind 30-day experience. It uses movies, videos, audios, articles, and music, all to unwind the mind from stress, worry, and fear. It's a great month to sign up to because our friend Jeff is going to be hosting online movie nights where you can join other participants and enjoy the movies together. It starts this September 4th in both Spanish and English, so sign up today to enjoy this great program. Yeah, you can benefit from all our beautiful tools, awakening tools, without even leaving your lounge room. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Um, that's all we have for this month's edition of What's New. So. Hasta, Hasta luego, luego from, from Chapala. Chapala. <laughs>